What's up guys? Welcome back. Today I want to talk about something that a lot of you may have been thinking but weren't quite sure what happened. What happens to tickets that actually don't sell on StubHub and other resale marketplaces? Actually before we get into what happens to expired tickets, we should first explain what is actually happening on StubHub themselves. So when tickets are actually first being put up onto StubHub and other resale marketplaces are either fans who have tickets that they decided they either want to sell because they couldn't go or they just had their friends canceled on them. Gotta go to my friend's house, have an emergency birthday party, I gotta go, you know, out of town because I'm just so popular. However, usually what happens is the person who had the tickets or the person they were gonna go with, they just couldn't end up going anymore. So the tickets, they basically just get unused or whatever the case may be, trying to make a few extra bucks or they just, you know, whatever. Or you have the same side where the ticket brokers are the ones also listing their tickets on there, trying to again, make some money because they're in the business of making money off you, the buyer. Tickets get listed up there. Prices will be set basically by the market. I can go in online and set it for $20 million or whatever the maximum price is, but it doesn't mean that ticket will actually sell for that price. And then we get into the situation where we're trying to buy tickets last minute. Then I have to do what everybody else does and race to the bottom, try and list your price as low as possible to make sure that yours is the one that gets bought and not someone else's. So some people are gonna say, oh, I'm gonna list my tickets for $19.99. And then the next person's like, I'm gonna list mine for $19.98. And the next person's like, oh, Oh, I, I have the perfect solution. I'm gonna list my tickets for $19.99 minus two more cents, so $19.97, $19.97. They are the geniuses. That is the magic secret. That is the magic word. That is how you sell your ticket. That's not how you sell your ticket. Just take a look up over here, here, one of these sides, basically one of these corners. Take a look. I actually have a video on how to buy last minute tickets and we go into that in detail with a very exciting example which happened last week. So go ahead, check that out. But what happens is as the ticket prices come down, get close to the event, you know, basically it's just a race to the bottom. End of the day, what's gonna happen is that not every single ticket will get sold. So what happens with those tickets? Let's take a look because lots of exciting things could potentially happen to them. First thing that happens when you end up with tickets that didn't actually end up selling is the most obvious one, they're just gone. Useless, done, worth nothing. And you might as well just give up now. Basically say, here, Ticketmaster, take my money. I don't want it anymore. I don't want to attend your terrible events or amazing events. I just don't want it. Take it away. I don't need this money. Goodbye, goodbye. And that, my friends, is very depressing. It means you had some tickets that are now worthless. On the other hand, you have not just, you know, fans who are trying to sell tickets, so you also have the ticket brokers. So these are the people who are actually, you know, in the business of buying and reselling tickets. And so what they'll have at the situation is the tickets will basically not have been sold anymore. And so they are kind of in a bit of a pickle, you know, they're kind of stuck saying, okay, what can I do now if I can't list them on StubHub anymore? Is there any other option for me or do I just have to take the loss, you know, take the hit right in the face? or do they have other means of trying to unload them? And the answer to that is yes, they actually have a few other options. So specifically with StubHub, they will allow listings to you know, stay up until the event time. Some sellers will actually be able to list tickets past the event time. Gives them an extra you know, half hour, hour, sometimes almost two hours. I don't imagine many things will sell in that time, but they have the option to actually sell these tickets for an extended period of time longer than the average fan. But at some point, the tickets eventually for everybody will be delisted, the event will go away, you won't be able to see it on any resale markets anymore, and that, my friends, is when you are at the situation where you no longer have the ability to sell your tickets online. And when that happens, again, tickets, worthless. One other option when your tickets expire on StubHub and other resale marketplaces is to actually smash the like button, because that really helps me out. Now, with that being said, there are a few other options that might exist for you. So, if you're listing them on StubHub and they take the listing down, you know, two hours before the event starts or one hour before the event or the, when the event actually starts and you can't sell them anymore, you have a couple of things that you can do. So, one is one that you might be thinking of is actually go and find a ticket scalper. So, as a fan, if you have tickets that you can't get rid of and then you just gotta, you gotta get something for it, what you could do is if one, if you have a contact, or two, just head down to the event itself if the opportunity exists for you. Go ahead, find a ticket scalper there. Sometimes you see them all over the place. They're just, you know, on the streets, on the corners, at the venue itself, just with big signs saying, oh, I need tickets, oh, I need tickets. Uh, and what they'll do is basically they'll just buy them from you. Yes, they're going to buy them at a very, very discounted price, but would you rather get something rather than nothing? It's, it's, it really kind of depends on your situation, if you're close to the venue or not. If you can do it, if you can swing it by, go ahead, get your couple bucks, give you some cold hard cash. 
From the ticket broker side, they may actually have people who are designated ticket runners who will actually take the tickets if they are physical tickets. Um, what they'll do, they'll bring them down to the actual scalpers themselves and they will then try and sell those tickets on the streets of Manhattan or your neighborhood or wherever it is your event takes place. Also, 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 there are a few resale websites that let you list tickets well past the event start time. Uh, and this would include Vivid Seats and Ticket Network. Specifically, those two, they have options to do, you know, last minute deliveries. Uh, and so with those, what you can do is actually list your tickets well past the event start time and get your tickets sold. Two downsides. One, there aren't many people looking to actually buy tickets after the event has actually started. So that's your one big concern. And then two, if you actually have physical tickets, you can't mail them to someone. You actually have to go down and meet them and you know give it to them in person. So it's 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 a bit of a pain. So I, I would not recommend it if you do not live anywhere close to the venue. Other than that, I mean, the other option is you could take your tickets and turn it into something like art, like a little tower, make it grow nice and big and fancy and tall. Lastly, and probably the most obvious one other than the first one, which was also the most obvious one because things are just too obvious, uh, is you could actually just end up going to the event or giving the tickets away to someone who could go to the event. If you have friends who live close by who do the event and they say, hey, you know, I got some tickets that I can no longer use. I didn't invite you to come with me because I didn't think about you back then. But are you interested in actually going? Question mark? Question mark. Again, if you are the one on the receiving end and then they're giving you these tickets, after the event has actually started, are they really your friend? Something to think about. Basically, when things expire and you can't use them anymore, you gotta be a bit creative. So these are my options for you. There are some ways to try and sell them. There are also some ways to try and have fun with them. Uh, whatever it is you decide to do, I support it wholeheartedly because I have been in that same situation as you. If this has happened to you before, let me know in the comments below what you've actually done with your tickets that could not be used or couldn't end up being sold in time. Also, be sure to subscribe because I haven't reminded you yet, but when you subscribe, you actually have way more fun with your tickets. Did you know that? It's, it, these are facts, facts I tell you. If you have other ideas, definitely leave them in the comments below. I'll check them all out. And I'll see you guys next time. You could look at them, you could frame them, you could drill holes in them. What about if you like turned it into a nose costume? Like a little eye hole or something? If they're mobile tickets, not as exciting, you could have a very, you know, dramatic deletion party off your Apple wallet or whatever it's called. Another option, origami, you know? Fold this sign. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got this, guys. Don't worry about it. Mobile tickets, I mean, I don't think you're gonna be drilling a hole into your phone to remove the QR code because that's... Then you fold this side. That's not creepy at all. Uh, that's not a good idea. I, I don't recommend that. I, in fact, I would say stop. And then you, you know, turn it into like a little thing. This is what I would do. This is the thumbnail that we want. You could uh, turn it into a, uh, a vuvuzela. These might as well rip them up. Take the drill out of your hands right now. Don't, I, I see you. Uh, you could also um, turn it to a fan, I guess. And then you turn the little thing into the other thing. And then, this, and then you just, I think it worked. Hold still. The more dramatic, the better. I see you. I see you with that drill. Don't do it. Just, just stop. Just step away from the drill. See, fan. Works very well. When I say origami, I mean, you know, paper airplanes. Doesn't work so well. Uh, you could put it in a frame and say, oh, look at this nice, beautiful ticket. It's so cute. <laughs> and lastly, my most favorite thing to do with tickets that expired, couldn't sell them, just stuck with them. Favorite thing to do, just rip them.